You know, I remember in those days when we began, there are people, that, this was the order of the day of spiritual people in those days. My children, my children, my children, my children, say the Lord, say the Lord, I'm the Lord, I'm the Lord. <laughs> my children, <laughs> my children, my children, my children, my children, my children, listen to me. My children, that's here's the Lord. That's here. <laughs> what is that? I wonder when that. It's all foolishness. You are scaring us, threatening us, trying to prove that you are spiritual. <laughs> Shaking your head, there is nothing in it. That is no spirituality. And if we don't explain some of these things, people will be attacking the supernatural because you see, bearing fruit is hard and difficult than operating in the gifts. You can put fruit on a Christmas tree. But to bear fruit takes process and time and growth. So everybody can be gifted. Everybody can prophesy. But when it comes to maturity and bearing fruits and spiritual growth, it's a process. So don't live here judging and attacking prophets. Judging and attacking people who prophesy or people who move in the gifts of the spirit if you do that you will miss god this friend of mine he was so gifted a lot of things he prophesied in those days to me i mean target spot on word of wisdom word of knowledge descending of spirit it was not a joke but i knew he had a personal challenge and and I didn't talk to him about it because he has a way of explaining some things. You know, he can explain. And he was a teacher of the word too. And, but I knew he was working in error. Because he could explain being not drunk in wine. In excess. And he said it's not in excess. It's all about self-control. He can explain the scripture. Pa, 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 and defend what he was doing. And he was my friend. Amen. After a while, I started drinking wines once more. Because we used to fly. And I realized that the things he was saying was making sense. So me too, I would be drinking the wine every now and then. Then after a certain glass of wine, I began to see men like trees walking. Then I realized that, hey, Charlie, this is not for me, oh. Why are you looking at me that way? I'm telling you reality. Put your hands together. Give God praise. He was so gifted and his, his gift eh, made him so powerful. You know? And then there was a time he prophesied something and I disagreed with him. And we'll come to that. And I told him, as for this one, I don't accept it. I don't accept it. So me and him, we stopped working for some time because he, he insisted on the prophecy that this is it. And me too, I said, I disagree with you. So we stopped being friends for many years and then we came back again. I'm saying this to establish a fact that the fact that somebody prophesies or somebody moves in any of the gifts of the spirit does not make him better than you and more anointed than you and you must not be afraid of the person you must never develop this fear that hey this person is so gifted he prophesies and it comes to pass so if i'm not careful he can use his gift to curse me or he can use his gift he cannot the gift is for the benefit of the brethren is for the benefit of the church it's not to kill to steal to destroy or to hurt others and it doesn't matter how gifted you are if you have an issue with somebody you can't deploy your gift against the person no the gift is not yours there is god's gifts so God hasn't given us gifts to use it against others. It's to be used against the enemy and not against the brethren. So we must never have fear of anybody but God. Put your hands together. Give God praise.